Mr Speaker, I rise to support the Prime Minister's motion and to thank him for it. The Green Party wishes to express our profound shock and sorrow at what has occurred and our sympathies to the victims themselves, to their families, to their friends and to the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender and intersex communities in Orlando and around the world. An attack against one of us is an attack against all of us. I want to name this as an act of homophobic violence. For those of us who are in the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender and intersex communities, we know that just below the level of taunts and name-calling and subtle prejudice, there is an undercurrent of violence. In this particular case, in Orlando, America's absurd gun laws have been a unique enabler for the mass murder that has occurred. But New Zealand has a history of homophobic violence also, sir. And one thinks, for example, of Jeff Whittington, who just over 17 years ago was murdered in this town. Mr Speaker, it should not be that when I and my partner or any from our communities is out in public that we should have to check who is around before we kiss or hold hands. And yet, sir, it is so. Mr Speaker, at this time, I want to ask everyone in this House and everyone listening to this debate now to pay particular attention to the needs of young and vulnerable members of our communities. For older members of the gay community, for example, like me, we have the privilege of being able to choose whom we associate with. We have the relative privilege of being able to make ourselves as safe as we can be. But a younger person does not have that privilege, sir. They are particularly vulnerable. They need our support and they need our love right now. Mr Speaker, I want to extend a hand of friendship and of love to Muslim communities around the world also, sir. We understand that what this man did is not representative of your communities, and we seek relationships that are based on peace and mutual respect. But Mr. Mr. Speaker, a belief that gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgendered and intersex people are not entitled to what we call universal human rights, or worse, a belief that we deserve death for being who we are, cannot be allowed to stand in the world, sir. And in closing, sir, the Green Party and I hope this House commit ourselves to act against homophobia and homophobic violence, and indeed transphobic violence, wherever it occurs in the world. And we seek to be a constant voice in the world for the universal respect for basic human rights. Thank you, sir.